Vitamin B12 deficiency, also known as cobalamin deficiency is a condition that occurs when a person lacks sufficient vitamin B12 in their body. Vitamin B12 is an essential water-soluble vitamin that plays a crucial role in various bodily functions. Let's take a look at what vitamin B12 does in our body. Vitamin B12 is necessary for the synthesis of red blood cells. Without enough B12, the body may produce abnormally large red blood cells that don't function properly, leading to a type of anemia called megaloblastic anemia. B12 is also vital for the maintenance of the nervous system. It helps produce myelin. Myelin is a protective sheath around nerves and aids in nerve signal transmission. B12 is also involved in the synthesis of DNA, the genetic material in cells. This process is essential for cell division and the formation of new cells. Now we'll take a look at the different causes of vitamin B12 deficiency. One cause of vitamin B12 deficiency is inadequate dietary intake. Vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal-based foods, such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. People who follow strict vegan or vegetarian diets and do not consume fortified foods might be at a higher risk of deficiency. Malabsorption can also be a cause. Some medical conditions can interfere with the absorption of B12 from the diet. Some of these conditions may be pernicious anemia, celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and certain gastrointestinal surgeries. Autoimmune conditions can also be a cause of vitamin B12 deficiency. Pernicious anemia is an autoimmune condition where the body attacks the cells in the stomach. The cells in the stomach are responsible for producing a protein called intrinsic factor, which is essential for B12 absorption. Certain medications can be another cause. Long-term use of medications can affect B12 absorption. Medications like proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, are commonly prescribed medications for acid reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, and peptic ulcers. However, they can reduce the acidity in the stomach, impairing the breakdown of food. This can lead to a decreased absorption of B12 over time. Metformin is another widely used medication. It is used to manage type 2 diabetes. While it is effective in controlling blood sugar levels, it may interfere with vitamin B12 absorption. It's thought that metformin can alter the bacterial environment in the gut, which might affect the absorption of B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also be caused by the aging process. As people age, there is a natural decline in the body's ability to absorb vitamin B12 from food sources. This is due to a decrease in stomach acid production, and reduced production of intrinsic factor, along with gastrointestinal changes. Older adults, especially those over the age of 50, should consider increasing their intake of vitamin B12 through dietary sources or supplements. The symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency can vary, let's take a look at them. Symptom number one is feelings of fatigue and weakness. As we mentioned previously, a lack of vitamin B12 can lead to anemia, specifically megaloblastic anemia. This type of anemia results in the production of larger, immature red blood cells, which are not fully functional, meaning a reduced oxygen-carrying capacity, and consequently, fatigue and weakness. Symptom number two is pale or jaundiced skin. Megaloblastic anemia, caused by B12 deficiency can also cause paleness, or a yellowish tinge to the skin, jaundice. This is caused by decreased red blood cell production and increased breakdown of red blood cells. Symptom number three is a shortness of breath and dizziness. As a consequence of anemia, the body may not receive an adequate supply of oxygen, which leads to shortness of breath and feelings of dizziness or lightheadedness. Symptom number four is numbness or tingling. Vitamin B12 is essential for maintaining the health of nerves, and a deficiency can lead to nerve damage. Causing symptoms like tingling, numbness, or a pins and needles sensation, usually in the hands and feet. Symptom number five is balance problems and difficulty walking. Neurological symptoms may occur with prolonged B12 deficiency. 
These symptoms include difficulty walking, poor balance, and even a sensation of walking on pins and needles. Symptom number six is a sore mouth or tongue. Some people with B12 deficiency may experience a sore mouth or tongue. They may experience mouth ulcers, a swollen tongue, glossitis, or a burning sensation in the mouth. Symptom number seven is cognitive changes. In severe and prolonged cases, vitamin B12 deficiency can affect cognitive function. This can lead to memory problems, confusion, or even mood changes. The treatment for vitamin B12 deficiency often involves B12 supplementation, either through oral supplements or injections, depending on the severity of the deficiency. There are two types of vitamin B12 supplementation, methylcobalamin and cyanocobalamin. Methylcobalamin is the active form, readily absorbed and utilized by the body, and is preferred for certain health conditions. Particularly those related to neurological disorders, peripheral neuropathy, or specific genetic variations, that affect vitamin B12 metabolism. Cyanocobalamin requires conversion before use, contains a cyanide molecule, and raises detoxification concerns. Cyanocobalamin is commonly used in regular vitamin B12 supplements and is widely used in food fortification due to its stability and low cost. Ultimately, the choice between methylcobalamin and cyanocobalamin depends on an individual's specific health needs and any underlying health conditions. For most people, either form should be effective in addressing vitamin B12 deficiency. We really do hope you found the information in this video helpful. Please remember that the material in this video is for informational and educational purposes, and if you have any medical concerns, please seek medical attention. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. We wish you the greatest health and happiness.